Welcome back to HodgePodge. As we know, there are many ways to draw a line in Rhino, and many ways to draw a circle in Rhino. There are just as many ways to draw an arc, and in exercise 27 found in the level 1 training manual, we learn how. As we have in the past, only a select few of these ways will be covered in this tutorial. It will be your job to know all of them. I'm really excited for this tutorial because we begin to see a lot of previously learned skills come together. Start with opening up your file named arc1.3dm, which you should have downloaded along with a level 1 training manual if you have been following along since the first tutorial in this series. We will begin with creating the arc for the bottom left corner. To draw this arc we will select the arc tool from the tool menu found on the left. Click and hold, then select Center Start Angle Arc. You could also single click because it is the default option. We will want to remove most of our object snaps for this to make the selection a little bit easier. Be sure to leave Center checked because we will be drawing this arc by first selecting the center point of its radius. We will hover over the circumference of our circle to select its center. Now, to finish drawing your radius, select the endpoint of each line segment. We could perform this action for our next corner, but our goal is to learn as many techniques as possible, so we will instead long click on our arc tool and this time select Start and Direction. As it sounds from its description, select the start and end of your arc, and then its direction. Hold Shift to toggle on orthographic drawing mode. For our next arc, we will again create a direction arc. We don't have another line or end point to snap to. We will have to do a little math to figure out where our end point lies. Remember how to enter relevant coordinates? If you don't, please be sure to watch that video linked here. Enter R2, negative 2 as your relative coordinates. Then select the direction of your arc. Again, hold shift to toggle on orthographic drawing mode. We can draw a full arc with clicking the extension button. Select your starting point and enter 4 as your radius. Then select your end point. Again, holding shift will help your selection. To close your 2D drawing, select the center start angle arch. Again, select extension. Doing so will allow us to avoid selecting the center point of our radius and drawing out the angle like we did with our first arc. Just connect the dots. Now we will get to work on the arcs of the interior features. Just like in our last tutorial where we learned how to draw a line tangent to two arcs, select tangent, tangent, radius. You can see immediately how easily your object snaps can be both helpful and hurtful. I will deselect my center O snap and select near instead. Set your radius to 3 and then select the direction of your arc. We will perform the same operation on the opposite side of our circles, only this time set your radius to 6. When you do this, you will want to select beyond the midpoint of your circle so that you will have a successfully fluid arc. Now, we will want to trim our circles to create an unobstructed slot. Select both of your newly made arcs and go to the top menu. Click Edit Trim. Now you may select the portion of the circles you would like to trim. Finish your drawing with creating a circle on the right side. This is where your center O snap will come in handy. Hover over your arc to automatically select the center point. There is no required dimension for our circle. It's time to make our object a 3D object. As we have done so many times before, select all lines and go to the top menu. Select Solid, Extrude Planar Curve, Straight. Type 1 for your extrusion distance. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.